torsional pendulum circular disc which is uh, fastened in a thin wire of radius r and length of wire is l a heavy circular or cylindrical disc fastened at the center that is center of gravity by a thin wire which can rotate about a vertical axis passing through center of gravity and capable to oscillate in the horizontal plane is called torsional pendulum a heavy circular or cylindrical disc fastened at the center of gravity that is center of this circular disc by a thin wire by a thin wire which can rotate which can rotate about a vertical axis which is which can rotate about a vertical axis passing through center of gravity and capable to oscillate in the horizontal plane is called tor torsional pendulum capable to oscillate in this plane horizontal plane now when a disc is rotated by an angle theta y twisted by theta which produce rheostering torque when a disc is rotated by angle theta y twisted by theta which produce rheostering torque this uh, rotation uh, rot, uh, angle of rotation theta produce a rheostering torque this rheostering torque gives oscillation this rheostering torque oscillate the circular disc so the motion of torsional pendulum is angular simple harmonic motion motion of simple motion of torsional pendulum is angular simple harmonic motion and rheostering torque is directly proportional to angle of rotation that is theta that is rheostering torque rheostering torque tau is directly proportional to theta implies tau rheostering is minus c theta where c is a constant known as known as torsional constant known as torsional constant or which which value is equal to c is equal to pi r4 eta by 2 l where r is a radius of radius of wire l is a length of wire and eta is the modulus of modulus of rigidity rigidity of material material used in used in wire now we have tau rheostering torque is equal to minus c theta this is equation 1 minus indicate the uh, direction now applied torque applied torque is equal to is equal to i alpha i is the moment of inertia and alpha is the angular acceleration that is i d square theta by d t square if no external agency is applied then applied torque is equal to applied torque is equal to rheostering torque rheostering torque that is this is i d square theta by t t square is equal to minus c theta or d square theta by d t square is equal to minus c by i theta or d square theta by d t square plus c by i theta is equal to zero this is equation number second this equ this differential equation is this differential equation is equation is is the equation of uh, torsional pendulum torsional is the equation of trans this differential equation is equation of torsional pendulum 
which is which is similar to the equation of simple harmonic motion that is that is d square theta by dt square plus omega square theta is equal to 0 this is equation number thumb by comparing equation second and equation third we get omega square is equal to c by i this implies omega is equal to root under c by i and this Im implies omega is a 2 pi by t t is a time period so 2 pi by t is root under c by i this implies time period t is equal to 1 is equal to 2 pi root under i upon c now this is the required time period of torsional pendulum by this equation time period depend upon movement of inertia and torsional constant but the movement of inertia i and c both are independent of independent of independent of acceleration due to cavity g so time period of torsional pendulum torsional pendulum is independent independent with independent independent with acceleration due to gravity in case of simple pendulum and compound pendulum both are depend upon the value of acceleration due to gravity but the torsional pendulum the time period of torsional pendulum is independent with the acceleration due to gravity now for modulus of rigidity modulus of rigidity rigidity we have c is equal to pi r4 eta upon 2l and t is equal to 2 pi under i by c now putting the value of uh, torsional constant in equation 4 we get t is equal to 2 pi t is equal to 2 pi under i upon this is pi r4 eta upon 2l implies 2 pi root under 2l i upon pi r4 eta now squaring both side we get t square is equal to 4 pi square into 2l i upon pi r4 eta This implies eta is equal to 8 pi l i upon 4 t square. This is the required expression for modulus of modulus of rigidity.